So as as I said in my last video, the this video, uh, the searchlights won the championship after being down three games to nothing. E ever since 2010, the searchlights have not made the finals. That's until 2020 during the NBL bubble in Colorado. Where the, again, the searchlights final would finally make the finals for the first time since 2010 after upsetting the Denver Warriors in the Western Conference Finals. And then, because, it, and yes, in the NABL Finals, the Firecrackers, I mean, the Searchlights would face the Firecrackers, the most, and of course, the team they wanted to face, they, they, they've been waiting very, for a long time to face in the Finals. <laughs> Eventually, the firecrackers and the searchlights would meet in 2021, and the searchlights have and the searchlights have have haven't haven't won either the 2020 or 2021 titles, and that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. Here's the story of why the Portland searchlights could not win the 2020 or 2021 NBL titles. Because, hey, of course. Ever since winning the championship in 2010, again the, again, the, the, again the searchlights have failed to reach the NABL finals from 2011 to 2019. Of course, they have had multiple second round exits. And of course, those second round exits occurred in 2011 against the Houston Timberwolves, in 2013 against the Chicago Cougars, in, against the Chicago Cougars, in 2014 against the Houston Timberwolves. In 2015, against the Windy City Grinders. In 2015, once again against the, and in 2016, once again against the Houston Timberwolves. In the other years, they have reached the Western Conference Finals, and and they and they and they and they, and they have not, and they have not reached the NBL Finals. Of course, those those years are 2012, 26, 2017, 20. 2018 and 2019. Of course, all those years. Of course, those years. They lost in 2012 to the Chicago Cougars. And in 2017. Cougars in 27, 2012 and 2017. And then in 20, and of course, and in 2018 as well. And they lost in 2019 to the Oklahoma City Electric after leading three games to nothing. Then finally in 2020 during the NABL bubble, the searchlights would finally reach the NABL finals after ups again, of course, after defeating the Salt the, the San Antonio Blue Stars, um, the Salt Lake City Grinders and the Denver and upsetting the Denver Warriors in the Western Conference Finals. And, and of course, remember, like with the NBA and many other leagues. The NABL suspended the 2020 season on March 11th, 2022. On <clears throat> March 11th, 2020, due to the COVID, due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And, and pandemic. And and since and since the suspension, and since the suspension, everything has not been the same. Everything has not been the same right now because right now the Western Conference is getting weak. Weak compared to the NBA, where the Eastern Conference Finals is getting weak. But the, I, I, but in my opinion, I think the Eastern Conference has been weaker than the West. <coughs> but 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 again, as opposed to the Eastern Conference in the NBL. Anyways, in 2020, the the searchlights. Face the team that they that they've been waiting to face for a long, long time. That team is the Cleveland Firecrackers, and of course, and, and we and of course, of course, there was this, there was this. Excuse me, there was this scenario in the finals where the Searchlights had a three-one lead after winning games one, three, and four. At, at the moment, at the, and of course, after having the 3 1 lead, the searchlights thought that everything was possible, that they would win their first championship since 2010. Then, starting in game five, all heck break loose. 
all heck broke loose because it gave loose because actually starting in game fives because in game four because 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 actually starting because game three is when the injury started it started in game three in game three mo x 992 two after going after going for a rim again landed hardly landed very hard on his back and was ruled out for the and was ruled out for the rest of the game he would eventually he again he didn't he he would eventually not return in 20 return for the rest of the series and then in game four and then in game four while, while, while going for a layup again against stephanie while going, making a successful layup stephanie stephanie kevin again ruptured her left ruptured her left quadriceps and after making the and after making the free throw she left the game and did not return despite those injuries the searchlights the searchlights defeated the firecrackers and and as i said starting in game five all oh, head break loose broke loose because with because without stephanie because in because without stephanie gavin and Max 992 the search, the searchlights with the searchlights lacked offense and defense, b b which is probably why they won. They lost game five. They lost game five. And and, and, and game six, and in game six things got even worse. The searchlights would lose game six. Lose game six to, to be to have the series tied at three games apiece. And in game seven. Again, anyone who thought the searchlights would win uh, game five, win game seven of the finals, oh, they thought wrong. Games, the searchlights also lost game seven and ended up losing the series in seven games. Hmm. At the time, of course, the searchlights would become the first team since the 1994 Brooklyn Legends to lose the NBA finals after leading three games to one. And then fast forward to 2021. Again, despite their finals loss. Again, yeah, despite their 20, despite their 2020 finals loss, the Searchlights would finish with the top seed in the West in 2021. At the time, the Searchlights became one of the NBL's most surprising teams in the league, along with the Washington Satellites, the Oakland Blue Devils, and the Memphis Yellow Jackets as well as the Orlando Cavaliers and the Chicago Panthers. And Panthers, and let's not forget the Oklahoma City Electric. Of course, we all know, of course we all know this. The, the Searchlights making the finals after breathing through the Western Conference. Of oh, and once again in 2021, they faced the Firecrackers. Again, of course, coming off their, their their 2020 win after coming back from a 3-1 deficit in 2021. Uh, I forgot how this scenario occurred. Of course, uh, let's see. So, so first, the Firecrackers would win game one against the Searchlights. And then the Searchlights won games two, <clears throat> won games two and three to be up to have a two games to one lead. The Firecrackers would return the favor by winning games four, by winning games four and five to be up three games to two. And the Searchlights would stave off elimination by winning game six. And, and in return, the Firecrackers won game seven to, to win the series. Now, why, of course, of course, now why did now, of course now why did the did the searchlights lose games four and five you ask? Because of course, because of course they lack defense. Because of course, like in twenty twenty, their defense was atrocious. Their defense was atrocious and their offense was mediocre. Mediocre. That's probably probably why they had to get their defense and offense together in game six. Of course, it's the reason why they won Game Six, and then in Game Seven, again the defense and offense was downright atrocious. 
just because they can. Not only that, but the but in games one, five, four, five, and seven, the firecrackers could not stop Lisa Balkan, who became an all who became an all star in 2021. So yeah, once again, Lisa Balkan in 2021 was unstoppable. Of course, she won because yes, in 20 that year she won most improved player. And, and not only that, she also won regular season MVP because placing because placing her in the starting lineup because placing her in the starting lineup seemed like the per, seemed like the perfect seemed like the perfect recipe seemed like the person seemed like the perfect recipe for success for the Firecrackers. And of course, like I said, in, like I said in episode six of season one of my video, of course. Lisa Bucket was inserted into the starting lineup after, after one of their star point guards was again uh, tore his left ACL and was ruled off for the rest of the season on April Fool's Day in 2021. And even after the All Star break, the Firecrackers could not be stopped, especially with Lisa Bucket in the lineup. Again, Lisa and Bucket said, "Quote, I, again, I feel like." I feel like the head coach inserting me in the in the starting lineup as the starting as the starting small forward was hands down the best thing he has ever done. Because ever since I've been asserted asserted into the lineup, we have been unstoppable. No one could stop us. And that is most definitely true. However, this doesn't excuse the searchlights from the fact that the that again that after having a that after having a 3-1 lead, they lost they lost it all in 2020. And their defense and offense were atrocious and and mediocre in 2021. Of course, that's probably why they lost it. They were they were unable to win the 2021 or 2022 NBL championship. And that and that will do it, folks. What are the other ways do you think that the searchlights could not win in 2020 and 2021? Bes besides, besides my reason, besides the reasons I described. Anyways, that'll do. This is Reasonable signing out. See you next time.